celebration of the historic Apollo 11 moon landing, India is launching its second moon mission. Known as the Chandrayaan 2, the mission will also send an orbiter, lander and rover to the lunar south pole. Our correspondent Neha Punya joins us now from India. A very good evening to you, Neha. Firstly, uh, this $150 million mission is going to be seeing in, uh, India rather be the fourth country to make a soft landing on the moon if it is successful. Tell us more about that. That's right. Uh, we're celebrating here in India 50 years since the launch of its uh, space mission and India hoping to put down an important footnote in space history this week with the launch of Chandrayaan 2. Uh, the launch is going to take place uh, at about 2.51 a.m. local time. That's in just over an hour's time from now. And uh, this is going to happen off the, coast, uh, off the coast of India's uh, uh, eastern state of Andhra Pradesh. And uh, uh, the launch is uh, something that uh, the Indian Space Research Organization has masterminded entirely on its own. This is a completely indigenous mission with all the components for this mission uh, designed and built in India. Uh, this mission is costing a fraction of what global space missions usually cost. One tenth of uh, NASA's moon vehicle is the cost of Chandrayaan 2 and interestingly it's even cheaper than the Hollywood film Interstellar at just about 140 Forty-four million dollars, and um, like you said, this is uh, not just a mission that's going to go into orbit around the moon. There's going to be an attempted soft or control landing, which essentially is the toughest part of this mission because uh, the uh, lander is going to have to get into the moon's orbit, ensure there is a very planned descent on the lunar surface only then can the rover which is going to be in the belly of the lander get out and conduct experiments and uh, the important uh, historical fact here also is that the landing is not just taking place on the moon surface it's taking place on the lunar south pole an area that's been uh, unexplored as of now so if India is successful um, it will be the first country to have ever landed on the moon's southern pole. And the idea here is to build on the findings of the first mission. Chandrayaan 1, 10 years ago, had confirmed the presence of frozen ice on the moon's surface. This mission is going to try and explore the southern pole to try and see how usable this frozen ice is. Now, Neha, we understand for the very first time, women are also going to be joined in this team for that soft landing. Can you take us more about that? That's right. Uh, with times changing, we're also seeing a change in the component of the team at ISRO leading this mission. There are two women involved. The first time we're seeing something like this. Uh, interestingly, a few years ago when India had uh, launched its uh, Mars mission as well called Mangalyan, uh, which was also a terrific mission because it was uh, executed at uh, a fraction of the cost of what uh, NASA had previously done. Uh, the Prime Minister had calculated that the cost was about 7 Indian rupees per kilometer to Mars. That's how cheap it was. Uh, you also had a few uh, female scientists who were lauded and feted for their involvement. Uh, this time around, you have two women leading this mission as well, which is another historic first for India. Now, just take us through how India is celebrating and gearing up for that launch come Monday. That's right. So the countdown officially began on uh, Sunday evening with the Indian Space Research Organization sending out uh, early updates of sorts. Now uh, we're being told that the vehicle, the uh, missile that's going to launch this uh, mission into uh, into the moon's orbit is currently being fueled and getting ready. Uh, you're going to have that uh, take off in about an hour's time. And it's a three-part uh, mission. You have, um, you have an orbiter, uh, you have a lander, and a rover. The orbiter is going to stay around the moon's orbit for a year's time and keep communicating with the team here uh, in India. And uh, a lot of build up has been witnessed in the run up to this. Um, this, this is a mission that's uh, taken a decade uh, to finally happen. There were a few delays because India was initially supposed to tie up with Russia for this, uh, but that deal fell through. So eventually India was forced to go uh, entirely alone on this project, which is why we're seeing completely indigenous technology. Uh, there's been a lot of excitement with the prime minister speaking of it, the government officials tweeting about it as well. Uh, of course, it's happening in the middle of the night here in India. So the hope is a lot of people will stay up to watch this because this is truly history in the making but um 
even though the takeoff happens on Sunday night, early Monday morning, we'll have to wait till September to see whether or not this mission has been a success. The landing will take place on the 6th of September to be exact and the last 15 minutes of that landing process will be the toughest for anyone to watch because this is something that India has never attempted before. But the hope is, like we got the Mars mission right the first time, this too will be a success. Definitely will wait that. Thank you very much for giving us more insights into that launch. That was SABC correspondent Neha Punya.